Oh, your eyewitness weather forecast. Good evening. Cold temperatures in our forecast tonight as we fall back down close to zero for a low. Same thing again tomorrow night, but you might not have to worry so much about the wind chills. Right now, already seeing temperatures falling close to 10 here in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Mount Pocono. You're already down to single digits at 8 degrees there, while you'll find some much colder temperatures in Binghamton at 1. Now, these temperatures are likely to get colder as we go more into the rest of the evening, but we're already starting to see a couple areas that are finding their cold at Elmira, 8 degrees there, down to the mid-teens in Hazleton, 14 degrees, Pottsville, 18. It's already quite cold. Wind chills are the main reason we're most concerned about the cold for tonight because those are already back down into the teens and several spots and maybe even negative values. If you look, though, the wind chill advisory is in effect for most of our counties. But if you go further southward, it's not there. However, even if you are maybe in Pottsville or Stevens Grove, go ahead and plan for the cold. If you haven't already, bring your pets indoors, please. Uh, we do have incredibly cold temperatures tonight, and this can be dangerous cold for even us humans. It's going to be a cold morning tomorrow. That wind chill advisory will keep going until about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This cold, thanks to that strong northerly breeze, that's still coming off of the New York New York area and off of some of the Great Lakes. That's why we saw some of those light flakes falling earlier. Not expecting much of that to continue tonight for many of us. Staying dry though as we go into tomorrow should be able to enjoy more or less a sunny day, but you do see that chance for the storm system, of course, bringing some snow in heading late into Sunday. At the moment, we're still expecting snowfall to start for a lot of us, but that mix does look more likely. The actual trend has been to bring more of that mix in and less snow. The further west you get, the more likely you're going to be seeing snow, though. Still maintain an eye on this storm, though, because we do expect some changes as we get into the next 24, 36 hours. We're still a ways off from the storm really rolling in, but the winter storm watch has been issued for a lot of our area. Again, even if you don't see yourself underneath this, plan ahead because we will probably see some travel changes and some impacts from the system, whether it be from ice or snow down to two degrees tonight for our low temperature. This will be the coldest night we've had so far this season, but it could get colder again tomorrow night at 14 tomorrow. Cold conditions in the forecast and some sunshine. That's the best news I have for you this weekend. We'll warm back up to 30 on Sunday before the snow moves in. And then we have that wintry mix on Monday. Temperatures will still be in the 30s as we head throughout the rest of the week. Download the Eyewitness Weather 